I will start with a major point and then work my way down. The manufactured white supremacy movement, which has been aided by the Google YouTube algorithm, which ironically is using the threat of extremist content to demonetize small independent left and right content creators. Intelligence is so low at this time that reporters on the left and the right seem unable to look beyond Donald Trump, whether they like him or don't like him, but look at really this system of propaganda and the destabilization of the Middle East. You know, it's not really a topic that you hear from either side. The main point is that the white supremacy manufactured movement is going to be used as the pretext to bring in the foreign troops. People can laugh at it all they want. I'm not going to be laughing if those events take place and people are targeted, whether they supported Trump or someone else. I don't wish harm or violence on anyone, but I will speak against the things right that I don't like in this world. Big difference. Came to learn the last year that a lot of people that support Trump don't believe in an independent thinker who's not with Antifa, who's not with Hillary Clinton. But there really are independent thinkers. But we've been forced underground. Former Ron Paul supporters have no respect, yet no respect, unless they're certain people. So as we look at the events in Charlottesville, of which I just got done watching several hours and getting an idea of some of the things taking place. First thing I'll mention, the Young Turks does produce some interesting commentary, but I don't like Cenk, and it's reported that they have received 20 million in a deal with someone linked in with Soros, and that's not really an area in which I go into, just throwing allegations here and there. There's a lot of people that that do that. That person's getting a check. No, that person generally is passionate about fighting you in the street because the day and age that we're in. Face it, believe it, and look at the larger mainstream media and internet that has fermented this. It's startling because the heavy fighting is in conjunction, kind of like the stars, in conjunction with the lack of real intellectual discourse and debate. I'm not hearing any real issues. I mean, chanting is one thing, that's group think. USA, USA, then there's Occupy. I say, I say, we talk, we talk, all at the same time, all at the same time. USA, USA, change we can believe in, make America great again. I mean, there's something that could be said about a society that doesn't like independent thinkers that will maintain political independence, and I am a living example. The Young Turks put out a video showing only in a picture, and he was talking about a guy being beat up because he was black. So, yes, it's a white supremacist rally to a certain degree, and uh, there was another incident which I'm going to mention, but don't, don't engage in propaganda and lies. Tell the story truthfully. And I'm going to get to why that's a problem when people in the media propagandize for their own agenda. Did Chet not do any research? Uh, several black men that were following the group for a while moved in on the attack. One of them knocked a guy to the ground with a stick. His last name is Harris. So he's all over the real news and he, you know he's, he's playing the victim but they went in on the attack. I understand there's an argument, you have to fight Nazis, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't actually have to get involved in violence. And that's something that a lot of Americans don't understand. A lot of Americans don't understand how, and I see a lot of the women, I think they're turned on by it. They go to the protests. It's really about the violence. People think they're so different. What you think you're gen People are starting to talk about, look at those anti fi they look small, feminized, it's the BPA. And just this back and forth. I see feminized guys on the Trump support side. You know, in this terminology of languages, you're a, you're a cuck, kook, cuck, uh, snowflake. And then, but you also see snowflake behaviors on, on both sides, especially on the right. It's, it's, it's a massive psyops. Let me just say this.
when society goes in a direction where they're not allowed to talk about racism, whether it's racism towards a white person or racism towards anyone else, anyone that could be perceived as non-white, people should be able to talk about it. Now, when people start going into groupthink, like, oh my God, this person hates this group because they're sharing this story. That's, that's freaking crazy. A white person doesn't have to be labeled as hating old black people because he shared a story about some black guys jumping them. But see, people have certain psychologies when it works for them. And there are people out there getting defensive and then stepping on people's emotions if they're not punching them in the face. Like this is the way things are meant to be in the new America. Spell with three Ks instead of one C. We have groups like Antifa, right? That are being, in some ways, applauded by the media. Setting an example that to stop violence and hate, you bring greater violence and hate. People like that are, are, are one day going to be dangerous people when the lights go out. And there isn't food to go around because they're not cooperative individuals. Those are the types of individuals that will form into gangs and steal. They're already forming into gangs. It's not a civil war. They're not standing armies. See how they're even changing our language up to make us stupider? Not only are people fighting the streets, they're not even using the proper language, English language. And it's their first language. But they're, they're sounding like primates on repeat. Civil war brewing. Civil war brewing. This is cyclical. Now, there's, there's something evil that's approached our planet and has penetrated it. This is also something that a lot of people don't understand or they're not perceiving themselves. I've been perceiving it for years. Years ago, discussing the spirit of occupation, the earth being occupied by a spirit of evil and deception. It's nothing new. It's become more obvious. It became more obvious to me after 9-11, but before 9-11, I was already questioning my reality. But in the post-2012, post-2013, Post-2014 era, as I saw the propaganda demonize people around the world, on the internet, exaggerated stories, promises of terrorism from certain refugee groups from certain countries that YouTube doesn't want the little guy discussing. See, it's not so much about Trump. Trump is another point that people don't understand. I go through this with every political party every few years. They know exactly what they're doing. They're role-playing. I called Obama a guild theater actor throughout his particular, his particular presidency. The role that he was playing, doing it with a smile, which made it even that much more sinister. When we look at Donald Trump refusing to denounce certain groups and putting even though Antifa is violent, putting them at the same level. The white supremacists in Charlottesville and the other. Um, generalizing the people of Afghanistan as terrorist losers when there are innocent civilians that are trying to flee. We're about to walk into a bloodbath, and I'm going to be reading and having to cope with this, this calling that is going to expand apparently. And certain things I'm not going to discuss in this video, but I've ruled nothing out. What do I mean by that? Anything can happen to any of us at any time at this point. That's why I believe the only thing that can't protect us at this point is, is the true light. And if we're taken out of the game, we're taken out of the game. But the events of today have provoked these thoughts and feelings of how temporary this life experience is, how violent this world is, how unconscious these humans are, and how support for my work has plummeted in line with this insanity. I kid you not. There was a lot more engagement, a lot more support, there was even friendship. All these concepts and more are foreign to me. Special thank you to the two people that signed up on demand since I lost my job last week.
Special thank you to Matt. Special thank you to the viewer in the UK. But I hope to see that grow because as I go through all of this emotionally, it's very insulting and painful to see YouTube do this to us, to lie to the world and say that they're fighting extremist content. When I see them promote videos that are the worst of the worst, they're liars. But because some people are sensitive to the idea of white supremacy even existing, they want to deny it, they have an issue calling out the social media giants for sabotage. COINTELPRO. Making sure certain fake news sites, literally, were at the top of the fake, fake, uh, fake book, Facebook news feed. Didn't any of you notice that? I cannot be the only one of all of you that notice just outrageous fact, fake news. And for those of you that do then, do you, do you notice the people on the left and the right that just don't even bring that up? When the left, when the left wants to talk about fake news, they, they, keep, they keep around this Trump election Russia thing. And, and, and it's really sad that they go for this it, wild goose chase. And they're all playing into this. The politicians are playing into this. Okay, the media is playing into this. Society plays into the madness by calling people like me crazy for suggesting they are playing the American people, that they're not legitimate. So they're all working in tandem to destroy the United States, and Donald Trump seems really critical in a phase of it. You know, there was a time when people talked about the economy. How can we pay for certain things? Those questions don't seem to be around. There's excitement about a, a stock market. We're still in debt to China. Yet these wars are brewing and building as we see the Russia-China army games. All over YouTube, people getting excited, enjoying the festivities of the tanks firing. It's believed to be a, a coming world of peace. A new world order is coming. A world of peace. And you know what they're going to do? You know what the new world order is going to do? They're going to build worldwide popularity over the guise, under the guise, stopping racism. Next to stopping America in its tracks. See, if the left and the right, people of different beliefs, liberals and conservatives, could be a little bit more intellectual and maybe a little bit more intuitive and maybe a little bit more instinctual. And I think social media has fried most of the people out there. I, I, I've had well over a year or two, and you have had the same amount of time as well. It's not, oh, look at those crazy people. No, no. Look, study, intuitively, right, with your sixth sense, pick up on that energy. You can almost hear the demon screaming in the wind. That's right, you watch a video, you're picking up on all that emotional energy. All those entities as well, all that darkness, all that screaming. You pick up on it, it's like there are other things that are influencing that, and we have a hurricane situation in Texas. Category 4, I also watched a lot of that, and I'm just like, this is happening as this is happening. Taking this to another conjunction conversation, that's what I specialize in. Not discussing race relations, but discussing the sun, and the sun's impact over our planet. And it's been painful to see my work ignored within those lines. And I'm seeing confirmation of that. Hell, when I lived in Portland, when I would read about geomagnetic storms, there'd be more drive-bys in the news. Meaning those gangbangers that are already in that violent mindset were extra violent when there was a geomagnetic storm. It's not crazy. There's a science behind it. The Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta was cited in a 2011 report by Reuters how they were studying wild fluctuations in the stock market during solar flares. You can look at the 2008 New Scientist article, Do Geomatic Storms Affect Our Mood? Links to Suicides. So people that are on the edge, extra on the edge, full of emotion, right? They could stumble into an unmindful action. Suicide, murder, uh, joining the armed forces and being all pumped up from the propaganda and being ready to kill the enemy. 
That's what we're being prepped for in the next few years. We're being weakened now with this civil unrest. The other thing that happened in Charlottesville, to go back to that real quick, is that a man fired a gun at the ground, right? Sure, there was some aggression, possibly coming from the other side, but pulled out a gun, fired it, and the police did nothing. And they only recently arrested him. There's another story uh, regarding the young girl that had her legs forcefully spread in a gym class uh, in an attempt to force her to immediately have the ability to do the splits. And the point that I'm making here is that school, that system, that structure, when that mother was upset and went to that principal and they even spoke with that gym coach, there's like five teachers on leave, they did nothing. And they launched no investigation, oversight, you know, the type of training techniques being used by that coach in Denver. So she had no choice, but went to the media in Denver, Colorado. What happened was there was national outrage and immediately action was taken. Why don't you think that there isn't any real action regarding people being droned to death? A far worse crime. A far worse crime than what enraged those Americans. People are more concerned about animals and they love animals more than they love people from other places if they've been propagandized to hate them. And what people don't understand, this is how far intelligence has fallen. Pattern recognition, I, I would think, should be a part of your intellect. We start seeing patterns. Uh, one pattern maybe the ancients would notice is the stars at certain times, being in certain positions, um, things of that nature. Astrology. So that's an example of man observing the patterns of the stars. Is it difficult to, to see the pattern of nations destabilized? people dehumanized, radical groups being funded so those countries could be taken out. So is it really difficult to see how they're manufacturing an American ISIS for foreign troops to come in later? In the same way, you need, you need to study Afghanistan. You need to go back to the 70s as a hobby. I, I sure hear about this country a lot. Alex said it was kind of stable before 1980. What the hell happened? But you're not going to see a CNN documentary about that. You're not going to see an Alex Jones documentary about that. And I wish I had Afghans to consult, but I'm not aware of any of them that are viewers at all. But it would be good to consult a historian. And maybe one that isn't completely uh, allergic, if you will, to ideas that are labeled conspiratorial. I see the U.S. and Russia as partners in the destabilization of the Middle East, and by the way, um, it's not just about the Trump worship. The Putin worship, I started calling out as far back as, well, it's, I've been involved in the independent media since 2004, even before YouTube. So as soon as he even came on the scene, I always saw him as a part of the system. Intuitively, in spirit, they're all sitting there at the table. They're all manufacturing these wars. They all have these weird cooperations in space. And yet, the intelligence level of today's YouTube viewer, today's, uh, I'm sure some of you get it, but a lot of videos it shows it's about half. And at times I would expect more understanding. Um, like, wow, yeah, I see that too. They literally are controlling both sides. And then you look at Fox News. Oh, look at the Trump supporters being victimized. And then you look at CNN. Oh, uh, look at these evil right-wingers. And then you have the problem of, I need to talk more about the propaganda. Because a lot of people just, they, they, they are not seeing the patterns. So that was, that was a factual error on the part of Cenk when he misreported and made those guys out to be victims, even if they were white supremacists. Uh, the video I saw, those black guys jumped them, and what they did is they, they whooped his ass in about 10 seconds but they let him get up and he was he was bloodied but he was fine talking in videos the next day later on could have been worse 
But here's a question. What if they uh, were able to uh, get some of those white boys in the parking lot and the tables were turned and maybe there were uh, 15 of them? And I'm not race baiting, but there's a lot of anger out there. There's a lot of anger out there. Would a gang of, say, a bunch of hoodlums, 10 to 15 guys, just let those guys get up after a 10-second ass whooping? Or would it go on and turn to something like Rodney King? I don't condone or support any of the violence that is taking place. And what kind of a world is it would I, that I would even have to say that to you? But... Um, after I'm gone, after this body, I'll be known as a philosopher, not a revolutionary, and as someone that was shunned by the left and the right for looking at the psychology of our society and how this racism doesn't need to happen, and you don't have to blame one politician for it because that's ignoring the issue that's been with us. They were doing Durka, Durka, Durka programming for Middle East conquests in the 90s during Clinton. I say all this to remind you of how long they've been planning these wars without end. This whole thing with go and kill all the Afghans and this potential, this narrative, is not only sick and traumatizing, it's the type of thing that can end this nation. I mean, it, it, it just happens to be a historical fact that every country that's invaded Afghanistan has some ill fallen upon it in some way. And I wouldn't say it's society. So with America, it's satanic energy. Some say reptilian. I use the word archonic a lot, but it's that dark side, right, that's being brought back in the wind. It's like depleted uranium flowing around the planet. The issue is the global system is Rome. America isn't Rome, but it's a manifestation of it. But the ruling elite use multiple countries. So America falling is not something to celebrate despite how angry some of us may feel, or you don't like the war, damn America, but they are really destroying America. Those wars aren't going away. There are other countries involved in fighting the wars. Russia's getting involved in Syria. It's not just the United States, and of course, Israel. Israel's control and manipulation. But behind closed doors, all these world leaders are connected with other individuals, and I believe that they have a script. The real level of how these things work and the real places where these things go down are not places like Bohemian Grove or the Bilderberg Group. Uh, these are manufactured conspiracy theories that have deliberately set people in certain directions with, of course, certain people in the media, alternative media. And we wonder why Alex Jones, right, was never really censored by YouTube and Google, even with a lot of truthful information in his earlier years, but a lot of the facts skewed. And all he did is rise up through the ranks. So it's not an accident that we've seen people like him and others rise up through the ranks with the support of the internet as we've seen this white supremacy move. It's all connected. But the mainstream media and aspects of the alternative media are not telling you the truth. It seems that lying for your own political agenda or your own racial agenda has become the norm in this society. And... We haven't hit bottom yet. We haven't hit bottom yet. I saw more people also posting about the fight between McGregor and Mayweather than the people that are stranded in the hurricane in Texas. Furthermore, I've always had an interest in the martial arts. I, I, I ha recall very few friends that I've met that have ever had an interest in learning something or training with me. The few when I was young, yeah, let's fight. Let's have it. No, I'm not. We don't need to do fight club and lose teeth. But you want to work on your punch, your defense, your counter. To me, that's like dancing. That That is an art that, that boosts my energy field. I'm not angry when I train or hit the heavy bag. And hitting the heavy bag, even though I don't really put it on YouTube, I don't see the point of it. Sometimes there's days where there's hours of it because it's a spiritual practice. And there's days that go by where I don't do it, but it's not a violent thing. So I find it also interesting that not only are my political and spiritual views so damn different, but I love the martial arts. 
I don't recall meeting friends that are interested in any form of training, but I certainly think that we are a uh, TV addicted, entertainment addicted, violent addicted society. Uh, ultimately, the whole, so many thoughts, Occupy, we are the 99%. And I was saying back in the day, well, that's really like Freudian or Orwellian because really like less than 1% of the population is awake. And by the way, those for those that are subscribing, so there's nearly 13,000 subscribers. If 130 people watch a video, that's 1% watching that subscribe. Plus, a lot of people aren't seeing the videos, which I remind you, click on the bell next to subscribe, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video. That little red icon says one, two, depending on how many videos are uploaded in the upper right hand side of the screen of YouTube. Click on the bell next to subscribe. You'll be notified also by email if you go through the settings. Yet it's amazing though, you know? People, people have all this access to information, technology, uh, and um, fighting, sports, video games, entertainment, house of cards. Uh, what's that other show that people are obsessed with? I mean, th these, are, these are things that, to, to me, it was, is it my soul? Is it where I'm from as far as prior lifetimes? But this is a very strange planet. And I'm, I'm identifying this planet to be a, a, a... I'm feeling like a foreigner on this planet. I was born in this country. I'm an American. I'm feeling like a foreigner on this earth. Like I don't belong here. Again, like I've been sentenced here. But then again, you know, we only have so much access to our higher self, I guess, in our waking state. Um, we have our mind to go through and all its programming, subconscious programming, that which we know is there, that which we don't know is there. So it's very possible that some of us aren't being punished, but we're meant to be here. But it's not, it's not easy to understand why we go through so much pain. Why, in some cases, we can count our friends on one hand. We speak our truth, we attract people, but it's that same spirit of teach, speaking our truth that'll send that same audience away because another video they don't like. The intolerance towards a person sharing their life story, their experiences. This level of intolerance is an energy form that's consuming America and it's going to eat it. It's going to consume it. Energy is energy. All this manufactured racial tension never had to happen. America has the, um, the tools. Um, there's free online courses where people can learn things. Does there need to be a course on how to be able to navigate and know what is real news versus false news? Nazi Germany never had the internet. Whatever's controlling this is above Trump. I don't see anyone discussing this. Anyone at all. Let, let me know. Let me know. Who is? Let me know who is. But these people are role players. And they're working behalf on a system. For a system. That has deep ties and military cooperations with other governments. That it's also acting like it's going to have a war with. The West versus the East. It's manufactured. And I'll stand alone saying that. And I'll stand alone saying they are controlling aspects of the left and the right. And I'll stand alone saying that during these solar flares and epochs, there are staged events. There are so many different things that I cover in which I'm the only person that covers these things. So if you appreciate this content, please sign up to my on-demand channel. It's really going to help things out as I transition to more than likely doing this on a full-time basis living off the grid in southwest Colorado. And I hope to have a much more productive, enlightening, and to be frank, happier winter than last. There's going to be a lot of dark news coming, and I'm looking at balancing that out with empowering things that I need to focus on. And that can be difficult being a news hound and your office and your living space and your life and your best friend within proximity is a friggin' computer with your digital friends and your viewers. Speaking of myself, but all my connections coming through this. And 
there are people that can go crazy living that way. But because I've been through a lot and isolated for a long, long time, this is not new to me. Uh, I take time for gratitude. And instead of going crazy, I seek to have a real individual next level consciousness shift. And I hope to continue to attract those positive souls to this channel. Not people that are drawn to the channel because of drama or just because of, of one topic or the other. But positive souls. And, and also a hope that in the years ahead there's going to be less memory loss. You, know, you remember me. You don't forget me. You remember where the channel is. If the channel goes down, you go to alexianstreet.tv. Sign up for the newsletter. I should get in the process this fall, this winter, the habit of sending out my videos directly to you by email. Let's start slowly practicing these, these exodus habits from social media dependency. In particular, how you get the video. So those are my intentions for the winter. And I think that people should contemplate that aspect of my journey as well. It's not just the things that I'm talking about. It's one man living alone um, in a day and age a lot of things I've already discussed um, on a shoestring budget losing my job recently but not giving up on the faith that I'm gonna make enough just to get through the winter month to month I work into a state of consciousness where I just let go and let the Creator World War three can happen tomorrow the banks could go down tomorrow and if that's going to happen, that's going to happen. I know I did my part and I applied for seven jobs in this town and I was not hired. I made the mistake of putting my last job on my website and I'm resume and I'm sure some of them may have visited that website. Uh, maybe they Googled me. I think in this day of the internet and Facebook, there's a lot more Googling of me taking place than what you might imagine. And image is very important to restaurants now, especially in a tourist town like this. And it seems that I'm being filtered out for some reason. I've never filled out seven applications within a single week since, well, maybe 2003 when I was in that in-between job thing then. But even in Portland, even though the job situation was complicated, um, I had pretty good luck in some cases. Then things got difficult later. Uh, now, mind you, these people are still looking for employees. And for whatever reason, whatever they found, they're choosing to pass up on me as opposed to filling their, their need, either at the food cart, the grocery store. And so I'm facing that, as well as the isolation. And so I'm hoping to see a shift in my own life. And I'm, I'm open, also, with regards to having had any suggestions yet, um, but a, a more positive flowing engagement or forum outside of the YouTube comment section and outside of my own forum for those of you that aren't a fan of that style or layout I don't know what it is but I got a forum but it's not perhaps as trendy right as the other forums the look uh, the user interface so something with a with a more flexible user interface so I've rambled long enough um, and I would like to keep coming back and making these videos but I am uh, asking you for your support.